All right, so I'm gonna take a quick opportunity here to talk about what layering is. Without a person in this picture, it's not really one that I would take, but it's useful enough for me to describe what I'm talking about. So when I'm talking about layering, I'm talking about putting things at different depths of the picture. So here we have a great example. Here you can see this tree is very close in the foreground. Over here we have some kind of mid-ground trees, and back there we have background trees. Now, this is a decent place, given the right light, a decent place for a picture. But hopefully now you understand what I'm talking about when I talk about layering. It's adding depth to our picture to make it more dynamic. Now, I'm almost to the top here, and if this is your first video, you have no idea what's going on or where I am. This is a three-part series. This is the third part of talking about layering. Part two, we talked about framing. Part one, we talked about leading lines. So this is the final part. I encourage you to go check out parts one and two. This is going to make a lot more sense, and you're going to take a lot better pictures if you're able to tie all three of these things together. So like we've been saying, the goal of this series is to shoot better pictures, but also tell better stories. So when you're thinking of your framing, when you're thinking of your leading lines, when you're thinking of your layering, think about what kind of story it tells. Here with this image, you can see that it feels a little ominous. It feels like we're dwarfed beneath the majesty of nature, the majesty of this mountain. That's what I'm going for here. I also want to mention before we're done, to me, I don't know if any other photographer would agree with this, but to me, I think there's a difference in how many layers you have. So an image like this that I've taken in the parking lot, to me, I would call this 2D. I would say this image has two layers. That's awesome. It takes a one-dimensional picture, makes it two-dimensional. I think two-dimensional is always better than one-dimensional. And three-dimensional takes it even farther. Now, be careful here. The more dimensions you add doesn't necessarily increase the quality of your photo. It can make it too chaotic. There can be too much going on. Uh, with that, we're gonna bring part three to an end. Again, layering creates depth. Depth creates emotion, creates a better story. We've covered leading lines, we've covered framing, now we've covered layering. If you've been watching and paying close attention, you'll probably notice that every picture that I've showed as an example has some element of all three. Good pictures do. Yes, there are times when all you can do is get one leading line. Yes, there are times when all you can do is frame. But constructing an image with all three of these will help you build better pictures. Taking a picture is telling a story. In order to tell a better story, we have to be intentional with how we tell it. Whether that be the words we choose in a book, the chords we choose in a song, or the composition we choose in an image. You are creating an image. You are telling a story. It's an active process. So, this week and beyond, go out there and practice. Actively engage in an intentional process that tells your story. I'll see you in the next one.